Today I'm going to show how to build car ramps out of regular 2x8 boards. All you need is a pair of 8 feet long boards like this one. You can find at any home improvement store, some 2.5 inch screws, and some common tools like a screwdriver, a saw, and a measuring tape. Cut each board into 5 pieces, 2, 15, 20, 26, and 33 inches. I'm going to mark those measurements with a pencil. First mark 2 inches, then add 15, so next mark is 17 inches, then add 20, so marking 37 inches, add another 26, which brings us to 63 inches, and leaves us with a 33 inch board at the end. Now do the same on the other side of the board, connect the marks with a pencil, and cut the board. Here I have both boards cut up. Now I'm going to align them. It is great if all of the paired pieces are identical and they align in the back and in the front. But if your pieces did not come out exactly the same in size, you want to align the boards in the front more than in the back because you want to make sure both wheels get up to the next step at the same time otherwise the car will be rocking side to side as you go up. Now we can mark our board locations and take the top pieces off leaving only the bottom two. You want to put the screws in one at a time in a crisscross pattern. Make sure to put them in about an inch away from the edge of the board, otherwise they may break off the wood as you put them in or when you drive a car on the ramp. It is best if you can pre-drill the holes first with a drill bit size of the stem of your screws. As you can see, two and a half inch screws go in the second board pretty far. Make sure the drill bit is long enough to go through one board well into the second one. You want to use flat headed screws so that the next board can lay flat on top of them. When you put your first screw in, the top board might slide a little bit to the side, so make sure to realign the boards before you drill a second hole. Once you put the second screw in, your boards aren't going anywhere. Install the remaining screws and put on the next board. When you put the next board on, remember to not put the back screws in the same place, otherwise you're running a chance of drilling into the screws you just put in. You can put them a little closer to the center or a little further forward. Other than that, the steps remain the same. Pre-drill the first hole, put a screw in, realign the board, and pre-drill a second hole in a slightly different spot. Repeat the process for the rest of the boards until you have a nice set of ramps. As you can see, all the boards are lined up in the front. Now, if you want to get real fancy, you can attach some rubber mats to the bottom of your ramps for slip protection. I'm using a staple gun to do that, but you can just attach them with small nails. You can also attach some handles on the sides for ease of carrying. You want to first find the center of gravity, mark it, and attach your handle in that area. Put all of the screws in halfway to make sure everything is aligned and then tighten them all up. And now you have a nice set of easy to carry car ramps. Here's a little demonstration. Slide the ramps under the wheels, release your parking brake and put it in first gear or in drive. You will feel resistance and have to give extra gas as you go up, but as soon as you get to the top, you will feel the car moving forward instead of up, and that's where you want to step on your brake. It might take a couple of tries to get used to driving on these ramps, but once you do it a couple of times, it will be like second nature. Once you're on the ramps, engage parking brake, put it in park, or for manual transmissions, 
shut it off and put it in first gear. And it is best if you can also put a wheel chock under one of the back wheels. And look how much room you now have under your car. Oil changes, inspections, radiators, you name it. You can also back your car on the ramps to take the gas tank down or whatever else you might find fit. They're also fairly compact and easily fit in the trunk of a passenger car, still leaving plenty of room for other stuff. So all in all, pretty easy to make and pretty useful to have. Just ask a lumber store for scrap wood, because boards like these, new, are about $15, $20 each, which brings the whole set with screws up to about $40. And for that money, you can just buy plastic ones from Walmart. Just make sure they are rated over your vehicle's weight if that's the route you want to take. But if you're like me and you like to make things yourself and you can find some salvage wood lying around, this is a nice, easy project to take on. On this note, I would like to conclude this video. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Good luck and take care.